the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. So I just did my prep work, training for strong man. I was training the event called the subwoofer carry. <laughs> out of the baffle, out of the vehicle, all the way in the house. My back tool room is full, guys, like full, full. There is nowhere to put anything. All the subs for this are in there, the recon. Amps for days. I just, I need to go through and organize and stack shit. And it's my office for work. I, I took half of it. Yeah, so. Today we're going to start on this with uh, Deb getting in there painting the enclosure. And uh, I got to cut one more backboard. But we're going to move this thing. We're going to pull it up this way and back it in to my sawhorses over there. That way I get maximum amount of shade to work in. Cause it's not terrible out right now, it's just humid as fuck. Deb getting in there to start her up. Ooh, it fired up on that old AGM. Death note, like that's the shit. <laughs> I took her steering wheel off, she's confused. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Deb got in here and wiped this whole top chamber down with alcohol. I got my lines marked here. That way when I put the port in, I can look back here, which I might have to make them. I know the port's only gonna come back three quarter. Um, but that'll allow me to mark the port board so I know to stay in this. Um, so good, good, right? Now, uh, what I just went and got, ah, shit, wood filler. I want to fill these Craig jig holes here on this bottom port. Um, we're not going to paint down here, but I just want to fill them. They need filled. Also, I got to go in and grab a roll of tape to put uh, on the bottom of that port so I can get this little bitty gap here filled with some uh, some uh, tight bond, which I think I left the tight bond at Dustin's. Actually, okay, I got more bottles here. But anyway, yeah, guys, we're, we're knocking it out. But let's just appreciate all the work Dustin did in here. I mean, I know I set everything up for him, you know, but still, I mean, Dustin, man, he kicked ass cutting them backboards, helped me get the port board in. Uh, friends like Dustin, they hard to come by, guys. They really are. Dustin, a rare breed. <laughs> I'm blessed to have a friend like that and a wife that's into this shit because, you know, this would suck just doing it by my lonesome. So I really appreciate having Deb and it's her build, but still a woman that wants to build like this. That's awesome. But anyway, let's start filling this shit in. We got Deb in here painting, which the paint definitely had to be done before uh, we epoxy this baffle. And I will say it was, she had a great idea of me filling in all the holes and stuff with the wood filler. I got these a minute ago down there in the bottom port. But uh, my wood filler sat in here and got kind of thick. But it is what it is, guys. We're getting what we can. She's using that roller to knock out the big stuff and then going back with a little brush and- uh, Edging it out. Yeah, edging. But it should be a pretty nice looking build. When Maybe. We're done. And when I bought this paint for Jangalang way back in the day. It was our first gallon of white. Yeah, I might have used this on three or four different builds so far. <laughs> but when I went in, I did get the brightest white that I could get, which was kind of a bad decision because uh, being that it's the brightest white, it. I, it dirt and everything just shows up so good on it every little scratch but the reason i want it super bright is when you put lights in there they reflect good off of it but anyway it saved me from having to buy paint honestly we is, all it's drippy out that's all i was worried about is not having to buy paint so we're getting stuff done guys that we are it's just taking us a minute here we have the port 
this is the side of the porch that's going to face in the enclosure. And I plan on epoxying it, but I couldn't epoxy this because of this lip. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tape it just right under this line. I put it in place and mark that line. This is what's going to be seen in there. I'm going to epoxy the shit out of this. So I'm going to build me a little tape dam right there. So the epoxy don't run over it. Uh, which is my idea. In theory, I could even bolt a piece of wood, just a couple of screws. Because all I don't screw in this, it's going to be fine. As long as I screw right here, that's where the screws are going to go to hold it to the baffle anyway. And then down here. But uh, I think it, it'll be fine. I could bolt a little piece of wood here with some tape on it. And hopefully it wouldn't stick because of the tape. I don't know. Just an idea. Tomorrow is epoxy day, not today. So... You know how it is, guys. I need to clean my table off because everything on that table, we got to paint one of them back boards. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I believe it's this side. No, the back side here. The underside of this needs to be painted. So, I might move this over and stack all this stuff on here so we can flip that over and get it painted and i need to cut one more of them and see see how we got that beveled edge there it's because the way that it fits this damn roof um like when i built this i actually had to put a second layer right there that's kind of short to get something to screw to but you see how this all angles in so it's made when we cut that bevel to fit this angle but that's all for now Deb's still in here kicking ass, getting this shit done. She's like, I want a pretty enclosure for once. Not Jerry's ugly build. Look, I showed <laughs> it can be done ugly. Now I want it pretty. Yeah, I think once we... And them LEDs, the badass LEDs we got for in here that do the chasing and 200 different functions and all that shit. Once we get them in here, it's going to look badass. Because they're going to start in the corner where she's at. They're going to come back to here, cut across the front of the port, and go straight down that side and end. And I'm going to get them about baffle height, a little right above the baffle. That way they're kind of hidden by the subs. Because as full as this baffle is, when you look back in this thing, all you're going to see is ass. Which we love seeing ass. I ain't going to lie, guys. So, um... Yeah, they'll, they'll half-ass be, like, hidden in there just because it's so full. But, anyway, I need to get some tape under here and go find glue to start that. I'll be back. Yeah. I spit raps like a heart attack Fast fatal heart impact Past painful scars In fact I blast tasteful bars and packs I back up my actions Fact don't ask Grab reactions Jack attack with every word Then act with class As they hear me snap I got nothing to lose Cause I fought and felt the bruise Now I'm not the one confused Call the shots and they produce I ain't lost I'm finally loose Pick a new silver excuse I need the views to boost me To a new abuse of being used Everybody wants a piece now Y'all can rest in peace now You're dead to me so peace out Remember you're discreet now Keep ready for defeat now, I'm gon' make you bleed out Listen on repeat now and weed out all the week now Get up and make a change, don't remember yesterday If you got something to say, speak your mind before your grave Cause your life is yours to save, ain't nobody gonna change Everybody stays the same, so be different, make and a name, like huh? A soldier, I keep on moving forward Always getting closer March until it's over And just like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching till it's over I'm just like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching till it's over I'm just like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer It's ridiculous 
this, I'm spitting this meticulous and limitless While others out there spitting shit got hits up on the charts and sit. I see why other artists quit cause people don't reward your shit They love to hate but hate to live society is swing and miss And honestly I get it, promise me you won't regret it Wasting energy, forget it, don't look back, go on and get it Bite the bullet just a bit, bite your tongue and don't say shit Make your actions hard to miss, be a legend not a myth yeah. It's obnoxious that I'm conscious, rapping honest as promise Try to harness, as an artist stay modest it's a long quest, I will not quit till 10,000 people going off When I drop this, I gotta make it now Swear to God I'm breaking out, swear to God I'll take a bow Send the stage with the crowd, cause I got it figured out I'm just honest and I'm loud, saying modest but I'm proud No, I never had a doubt, like yeah a soldier, I keep on moving forward Always getting closer Marching to Did a little just uh, let it film section that I'll have done sped up and added music too, but Deb's in here doing the final stuff. She got paint in her hair. <laughs> it's all good. I kind of like the white streaks. No, no but, right here. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we're getting stuff done, guys. You know, it's it's humid as shit out today. The temperature, well, I don't even know what the temperature is, but uh. The temp is, it's up there in the 80s, I'd say. But we got some mad motherfucking humidity kicking, so. From the rain. It's making it sweaty as shit. I did get the tape on the bottom of that port, which is a bitch, because it's not super wide. But we did get that done, and uh, I got it glued in. Just want it sealed good. Tomorrow will be a fun day because it'll be epoxy that motherfucking baffled day. And I'll be at work. Yep, and Deb has to work so she don't get the help. She's probably like, yay. Nope. <laughs> oh, you wanted to help do the baffle? Yep. Yeah. What? But you got to work late, don't you? Uh, I think till six. Yeah, it'd be way too. Like, cause that, if we wait for you to get off work to do that. It's fine. Yeah. It'll put us way behind schedule on this thing. That'd be like a whole day wasted. It's fine, y'all. Surprise is what it looks like when I get home. I'm just going to use my own creative ability on that bitch and let it eat. Death Note is anime. <laughs> what? Death Note is anime. Oh, is somebody asking about what Death Note is? No, they call, keep calling my shit the Brown Note. No, yeah, she said no word. Nope, not Brown Note. Death the, Note. The name came from the anime called Death Note, and I have watched Death Note, or we, we finished almost all of Death Note. This is my second time. Yeah, from last week to this week, we have almost finished Death Note. It's but, only 38 episodes. Yeah, it's only 38 episodes. It's kind of cool. So, There's if you guys. And stuff next, so. If some of you guys are into anime and want to watch it, it's on Netflix. There's a live action. It's pretty cool. We ain't watched a live action. Uh, we're starting with the actual anime so guys check it out ryuk Ryuk. huh ryuk. ryuk that's that's the the main demon what's he called a sh uh, shinigami shinigami which is the uh the japanese version of the grim reaper the god japanese of death, death yes yep. so guys check it out if you want to hell i don't know i know i do have some of you guys on here that are like fuck anime I know there's some of y'all It's like, fuck anime. I don't I watch that shit. I already have first dibs on my base knob. And there are some of you guys that watch anime. I'm too old to watch anime. Some people say, but I dig that shit, guys. So anyway, yeah. Uh, check it out. I don't know. So Deb's up there washing all the paint stuff out so we can reuse it at some point in our life. Um, got the... The shit glued in here that needed to be glued um right now she got paint all over her shoes so she just holds them down so she's walking around with wet feet which i got that this morning but the glue, everything's drying up now so i guess at this point i don't even know it's really getting hot out now even here in the shade is just like sticky feeling so i don't know how much we're gonna do today um I got the port laid in here and that board there that we painted white, it's pretty dry. I'm giving it a couple more minutes so I can actually put it in place here, just sit it in here. 
and then I need to get a sheet of wood off the back porch, bring it to here, lay that bottom sheet on it, and uh, cut it, and then get the jigsaw out and cut that beveled edge on the curve that it has that kind of matches this curve here. Because we got it done really good, so it's kind of where we're at. That's kind of the last piece of the puzzle, really, is to get that piece of wood cut. But it's going to take a lot out of us carrying it from up there to here in the heat. And, uh, yeah, Deb's wore the shit out. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we got going on. But it's looking really good. Everything's painted. I think it's going to look kick-ass with the LEDs in it and all them booties sticking up. Not sure about that front port, guys, but that's a long enclosure. Like... I was looking in the Jeep the other day, and my enclosure is probably a foot shorter than this one at least. Because I was kind of determining how much port I can put in there in the bottom chamber. And it's like nearly not as much as I thought I could. Because I thought I was going to be able to stick like 24 more inches of port in the Jeep than what it's got, and I'm not going to be able to. Maybe like a foot, foot and a half at the most. But anyway... Uh, this build's gonna perform like a mother and be stupid windy, or it's just gonna be a monstrous flop. Let's let's hope for the first one. You won't need it if it's a flop. <laughs> I won't need it. You won't need it. it it'll be yeah. ripped out. She I said, if this if this build is a flop, we're just cutting everything out and starting over, going like way over to here or whatever. But I think it should be. I think it should be nasty. I don't know, guys. We're, we just got to sit in. It ain't bolted. That's why you see little gaps, but it's starting to look pretty cool, guys. I had the port laid in here. And uh, what I had realized was, honestly, we had all these cutoffs from the baffle. I thought I was going to drag a full sheet out. And hell, we had three of these. You can kind of see I got this marked out um, where I got to cut it. And at the top, I got to get a jigsaw out here and an extension cord, but I got to bevel it inward and just cut across because see this dip here follows the contour of the top. So yeah, this ain't going to be bad at all. Like bear with me it is what it is but yeah i'm gonna have to go with the sauce third layer is cutting in guys so um yeah that's good right now it ain't supposed to rain it's nice and overcast so uh, i'm thinking check the weather again this <laughs> cutting that damn wood uh, it makes me sneeze every time. Okay, we're clear. So, uh, at this point, I need to pull these out and get in there. And if Deb feels like it, we can start taping. And if we can start taping, we can get ready to pour epoxy. It's still early as shit. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Like, we're to the point, if the enclosure that we just painted is pretty dry in there, which I think it is, we can start doing epoxy. Which is just taping, 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 taping. And yeah, a little bit of taping. And we'll be good. But uh, anyway, I'm going to see what the wife would like to do. And if she's cool with doing some epoxy and taping, then we might get on get on that. So we did get that third layer cut. Everything fits snug up in there. And uh, look, see, we come right back out to the marks that I made before I ever even put the first piece of wood in here. That's how it should be. All right, guys, I'll be back. So the epoxy, epo the, the baffle is epoxied. The port's epoxy, but Deb don't want me showing y'all. 
She says some things are better left to surprise. You so can show that there. This is we is just dumping our leftover stuff on. That's gonna be the back of the port. I uh, I don't even know how I feel about this. I kind of dig some of the vibe it's got, but we're gonna have to hit it with a torch and let it set. We got to torch this here in a little bit. Can you sneak in closer? I wouldn't sneak it in closer. You can't see nothing. Your fans can wait. <laughs> Decided to come in. We've been outside since like 8.30, 9 o'clock, and it is now 1.30. So it's like at that pivotal hot point of the day. I had planned on mowing today after we got done with some of this because of uh, it being overcast, but the fucking overcast left. Oh, shit. So I might have to wait till like 6 this evening and try to mow and knock some of that grass down. But, um... Yeah, we we did, before we came in, we did get the torch out, and we torched the baffle. I'm going to let y'all know, it looks totally different from the front to the back. Because I did the back how I wanted to do the back, Deb did the front how she wanted to do it. So it's got, from front to back, it just kind of drastically changes. Not drastically. The further it goes back, the more it changes. The more it gets chaotic. Which more, might be kind of cool when you look in, but anyway, yeah, uh you'll probably see that like next video or something unless you're one of the youtube members or on my patreon i will put pictures on there for them people but i don't know deb says she didn't want to show it this video so okay so we went outside and cleaned everything up and retorched the baffle in the blazer and it is now like 3 30 um the heat got to me bad, guys. Like, it was terrible. Um, I didn't even realize that the shirt I had on was, like, soaking wet. And I was sitting right here in front of this AC. Kyle was fine when we were outside in the heat. That that wasn't bad. But when I came in this cold with that, that soaking wet shirt on, it just it about killed me. So, uh, I'm calling it quits for today. So, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll continue this tomorrow. Out of all the things that they've sent me from the TikTok shop to do videos on, I like this damn compressor the most. And yeah, it's that time for me to mow my yard. And yeah, I ignore that. Oh, shit. I'm still confused this morning. I have aired the damn tires up on this lawnmower so many times. And this bit still shows the full battery. And I have never charged this thing since the... I, ain't, I didn't even charge it when I took it out of the box, guys. That's just how it came. I'm impressed. Blade was dull. <laughs> Got that, the, old, the old flapper disc. That'd get that blade good. What the hell? That looks safe to me, fellas. <laughs> I tried my OCC that they sent me from uh, the TikTok shop, but it didn't have a socket that would fit. And uh, it's a half inch drive, but it's quite a bit longer than this old Cobalt. So we went with the Cobalt, but that thing kind of impressed me for being cheap as shit. All right, so I had to go get gas. Um, we in the old black Jeep. <laughs> and if I had to go get gas on a Sunday morning, I'm going to Seven Brew to get a coffee. Don't tell Deb. If Deb asked, I had Starbucks or Dunkin' or something. Just, yeah. Can you keep that between us, guys? And, uh, Deb, if you actually watch this video, we're at Starbucks. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's that's what we got going. I had to get gas. A lot more just ran out. Cutting way better since I sharpened the blade. And literally, I could have bought a new blade, but I got to run to the store, try to match it up. And that literally took me like 10 minutes total to take it off, sharpen it, and put it back on. So I don't know if I'm going to work on the blazer today because it's supposed to be like hot, hot. Um, and really, I don't know what my next step in it's going to be. Um, but we'll figure it out. I think at the point I'm at, 
I need to recone a sub and um, I need to uh, get the subs in it and wired up. That's kind of where I'm at with it. But I need to let that epoxy in there dry for like three more days. I mean, it's hot as shit, so it's gonna dry pretty quick, but it needs to dry for a few more days. And then I can get the subs in it and get everything wired up and put the whole back together. And at that point, guys, it'll be painting the back and slapping the amps in it. So, I mean, it's getting close. Um, I got four sleeves of C-Max at my house that need to go to Duck or Duck needs to come pick up. One or the other, I don't know. But uh, Green Tech Auto has got like a killer deal right now on C-Max sleeves. 225 a sleeve of the 5.5 cell shipped. I mean, Green Tech Auto, you can't beat it. It's like they haven't had sales for years and they've had this sale going on for a couple weeks and they still got them. So anyway, peace. All right, everyone. God, my grass was tall. And uh, honestly, it only been like a week and a half. Don't understand it, really. But I got to see the baffle in here, and it looks way different than it did yesterday. I dig it. Now, keep in mind when you guys finally do see this baffle. Um, we wanted something different. Me and Deb talked about it. Uh discussed it and we did not want what everybody else is doing and what everybody else is doing is the old stone coat countertop look we wanted to break away from that because uh why follow what everybody else is doing try something different and roll with it and that's what we did um it matches her anime theme really well so keep that in mind. We didn't go for stone coat countertop look. I mean, hell, the colors I chose is white, primary color, black and red. You're not gonna get stone coat countertop of them colors. So I can give you a look at uh, the back port piece. Now keep in mind, this looks nothing like the baffle because uh, what we did with this back port piece is when we were finishing cups of epoxy, we were just flipping them upside down on here to get some epoxy on it. So it looks 100% different, but I'll, I'll show it to you. So let me uh, walk up here. This has more of a stone coat countertop look. And I'm gonna have to bring a sander in and sand down this edge. That's where the tape was, but my pencil line's like way up here. And that's kind of why I did it that way. So I could run a sander across there, but you know, like this is still pretty soft. So I can't even do that today. We do got a couple bugs in it from just sitting outside, who cares? But we got to touch a few spots of paint up in the enclosure. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the screws out that stick up like this one. Then I'm gonna use wood filler on them and repaint that because I don't like the way it looks. So bear with me, guys. I just, I wish I could do more to the blazer today, but I can't. The epoxy's got to fully cure. Because right now, where it's at, it needs, uh, it needs subs in it. Like, that's, that's where it's at. It needs subs. I, I got to put the threaded rod through the side of the enclosure. I already drilled that. If you've been following my channel for a couple of years, you will know that pretty much every sixth order I've done, I only say I'm gonna drill the hose or the threaded rod at the proper spot, and I never actually do it. Then I wind up drilling the hose through the back of the enclosure, and then I actually screw up and they're in the way of the amps, yeah. But this time I got them drilled where I wanted them. So I got to put them in. It's just hard to get in here because if you remember in here, I got all of the uh, plywood, the three layers sitting back here. So no, no. Theoretically, I could bolt that port in and put the back of the wall on, but no, no. I want to go ahead and put the threaded rod in and uh, put the woofers in. 
Why? Because I can stack uh, four in from the back, one in from the, or two in from the front. Make it easier on myself. But damn, my grass was tall. It was like up to here. <laughs> Higher in some places. Bogged my lawnmower down. But Jerry wasn't no punk mowing his yard. I actually put the blade down as far as it would go. Like I skinned it. But I had to move Jangle Lang. I would have had to move the uh, black Jeep, but I had to take it to get gas. So it took me a lot longer to mow it today than normal because one, it's hot, but two, with the blade down that low, I had to go really slow to get that grass cut, even with the blade sharpened. But it cut a lot better. It was cutting my grass like really jagged and, and everything. And it's smooth cut now. I really need to weed eat, but fuck, it's hot out here. So, um, anyway, I'm probably going to end this weekend's video here. What do I have coming up for you guys? I'm going to have a video coming up sometime this week, hopefully, of uh, me and Deb doing a recon. You've seen them a hundred times, but people refer back to my recon videos to do recon. So, I like having that. Um, something else is, I don't know if I had to work or not. Uh on the 4th of July. That's just coming Thursday. I mean, I work holidays because I'm off Jewish holidays. More than likely, they'll say we're off and I'm gonna have to sit here half of the day and do tickets. We don't answer the phone, but we'll have to do tickets and emails. So uh, if that's the case, after that, we're all going to Chris Lee's. There's a bunch of us going to Chris Lee's house. So. I might do a little filming there for y'all. Just people acting stupid, you know. That's what we do. Base heads having fun doing other than base head shit. So I know I'm rambling. Most of you guys like that. A lot of people don't. I will say again that my little air compressor, that battery powered thing that I got from TikTok shop, guys, you know, it's in my TikTok shop store. If you just want to go to my TikTok and check it out. Uh, in my, my little store where I add products in there that I get commission on. I'm not even recommending it because I get commission on it. You know, I'm still playing with that camera that they sent me, but can I recommend it? Not really because, uh, some of the video clips I film with it, I don't like a lot of them. I do like, so I'm torn on it. Like right now I'm on my phone. So take that for what it's worth. The OCC Impact. Do I recommend it? I could take it or leave it. I mean, I got a bunch of impacts. Uh, honestly, what I'm probably going to do with it, since they sent me two batteries, at some point I want to make my own Bluetooth bump box. And I'm probably going to use them batteries and charger to charge it. Hell, why not? Most of them little amps from Parts Express are 24 volt. That thing's like 24 volt, so it worked perfect. But that tire inflator, guys, I mean, that bitch is bad. <laughs> what I'm getting at is if you uh, have a vehicle with a wall in it, you can't carry a spare. Unless you have a blowout, that thing could really save your ass. Um, like my vehicles, this, none of them have spares. None of the four we have. If I had four of them in a plug kit, you pick up a boat or something and your tire goes flat on a trip, you can plug that bitch. Plug kits are cheap at Harbor Freight. You can pull out that little air compressor and would it take a while airing up one of them big ass 35s? Yeah, but it'll do it. And that's all I'm getting at is uh, it saves your ass. You know, I used to have to drag my air compressor out and the extension cord to air the lawnmower tires up. Not anymore. And that bitch does it pretty quick. So that's kind of why I like that. Now, I got two different companies sending me them little jump packs. Um, you know, the little lithium battery thing that you hook the cables to and jump and start a car. I don't know. The lawnmower's been starting great since I put the new battery in it. But what if it don't? I'll try to jump it with that bitch, you know. So, <laughs> getting my shit streamlined. 
Uh, other than that, I do have another company wanting to send me a third one that has a built-in air compressor. That might be the great thing for the lawnmower there. Air the tires up, jump the battery all at the same fucking time. But I don't know. I'm rambling. And y'all don't like... Well, one person didn't like it when I'm rambling. Maybe a couple. But anyway, guys, this is life of a base head. This is the shit that I deal with. I love my little Gravely lawnmower. Here recently, it's been doing fine as shit. Now, I probably could get two bottles of slime, putting them back tires, and not have to worry about airing them up. Just too lazy. You know, honestly, when I'm at the store, I forget to do it. Every time I go to Tractor Supply, I'm like, damn, I should I should buy this slime. No, I'll go to Walmart where it's like $3 cheaper a bottle. And I, I never do when I'm at Walmart. I forget everything. I get distracted by ice cream and, and shit, you know, chocolate milk. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be all I got. I'm sweated the fuck wet. And uh, the yard is mowed. All the vehicles have been moved. I am leaving um, Death Note here under this shade tree. Yes, I have a camera on that pole right there that does point over this away. And I got one on the side of the house here that points this way, so I'm not worried. I mean, they ain't got still nothing out of it. They ain't got subs, amps, battery, or nothing in it. But just for the shade, um, it's going to get hot enough to, to cure the epoxy pretty quick. So anyway, guys, until next time, please check out all my affiliate links. That shit helps me then you know, more than you know. Think about joining my Patreon. As little as $5 a motherfucking month, you get sneak peeks because that baffle, <laughs> it's a video of it's already went to Patreon for my paid members and a video of it's already went to my YouTube members. So... They get sneak peek. And I've been releasing all my videos early since I can't do as much for the YouTube members. Uh, I've been putting all my videos on there. I've been releasing them for them like three hours early before they go public. So I appreciate all that shit, guys. Peace out. And as always, motherfucking base on.